I'm going to show you how to calibrate this little unit here today, the KH Keeper Pro. First thing you'll need, which the unit comes with, is PH7 and PH4. The scales that they come with, and I use this little 50ml plastic cup to measure out the liquids. So let's pull the front off and get started. So off it just comes just like that. I'll put that to the side and that shows you all the internals. So now I will pull it all apart and we'll get started. Sorry, forgot to add that you also need a cup of RO to clean the pH probe and a clean towel or tissue to wipe the pH probe clean. So to dismantle the KH Keeper, first you must take the pH probe out. Now it can't dry out, so best to put that into your cup of RO water and put that to the side. Next, you want to remove the line that comes from the aquarium. So that just slides. It's a bit hard one-handed, but it just slides out like that. And next is the reagent line. So now it's dismantled and you can calibrate from, from just like this. So from here, we will jump into the app and we'll turn the measurement off so it doesn't start a measurement in the middle of the calibration and I'll show you how to do it. So once you're in the app, you can see everything going on here. You want to open up your KH Keeper and then you want to go into settings, measurement, set interval and you just want to turn that off just for now. That way it doesn't start to test while you're doing the calibration. Um, and then to do the calibration, just in this bottom right hand corner here, as you can see where I click, you got the pH probe, aquarium pump, and reagent pump. So pump A, pump B, uh, pump C is the top pump that just empties the KH keeper out and pH probe. So I normally do the pH probe first. Um, I don't think it matters which way you do it, but that's the way I'm gonna do it today. Um, so let's get started. So before you start to calibrate the pH probe, you need to clean it. So first rinse it off with RO water, then dry off the pH probe, but you never want to touch it with your hands. A tissue or a bit of paper towel is just fine, and you want to get your pH 4 and put your pH probe in there. I like to give it a shake just to make sure that it is pH 4 on there. And then just like that, now we'll jump back in the app and I'll show you how to use the app. Finally, so now it is calibrated. So after you do that, you want to repeat the process with, with pH 7. So off we go to clean the probe. So you want to take it out. And you want to get your RO water again. Get the pH probe to get dry, get that pH 4 off it. And then a rinse in the RO. And another dry. Put that to the side. And then you want to get your pH 7. Put it in there. I like to give it a few dunks. Just make sure it's like 7 on there. And then we jump back in the app and we do it again. So once you're back in the app, you want to click begin calibration 7 right there and wait another five minutes.
there we go, it's all calibrated. So after that, um, this would be a good time to use an accuracy solution to see if it, the pH probe is in range. If you got that, go ahead and use that. If not, uh, move on to reagent pump, pump A. So we click that and I'll show you how to do that. Once you're back in the app, you want to click begin calibration, start, just in the cup like that until you have the correct number. So the number that shows up onto this here is the number that we're going to put into to tell the machine how much liquid's come out. So you just want to go ahead now and put that number in. So 3.09, then click OK. You then want to tip that out into a cup or something, put back a little vial until it says zero again. Do this, back in the cup, and then what you want to click is accuracy test. Now you can see it says that it has to be 4.95 5.05 so we click start and we see if we get that number and if not then you repeat the process until you have that number so as you can see it falls within range that it tells you, so we'll go ahead and click OK in the app. Go ahead and click OK. Oop. We want to get out and we want to click Aquarium Pump B. This one's a bit different, there's a little bit of maths to do in this one. We'll have to divide the result we get by 1.025, that is the salinity of your tank. Well, it is of my tank, you should divide it by the salinity of your tank. Um, we'll go ahead and we will begin to calibrate. We go ahead now and click begin calibrate. So the re result we got is 19.05 so we're going to go ahead and open up our calculator and divide that by 1.25. So once you've got your calculator open you want to do 19... Oops. Point 0.05 divided by 1.025 equals so that is 18.58 so the number we got was 18.58 after we divided by 1.025 so go ahead and click OK now we want to accuracy test it so we want to go ahead and click accuracy test and start and I'll start to fill this cup up by 50 mils and if it's in within 49.5 and 50.5 we are in range. Here we got our result here so we need to divide that by 1.025 so go ahead and open up your calculators. Calculator open, put in the amount you got and then divide that number by your salinity so, so 1.025 equals so 49.86 and that's it guys your device is calibrated so now we put back the aquarium pump line back in it's a bit of a wiggle this one that slides back in there like that straighten up the unit put back on the front and then we'll jump back in the app and we put the measurement back on and that's it guys so once you're back in the app guys, we just need to go back into measurement, set the interval to the amount of hours you want, I like to do every hour, and then you want to do a little test, manual test, and off it goes. Enjoy your KH Keeper.